Hi, welcome to the Pursuit of Truth. Um, I just noticed that I haven't recorded any of these since September, and now I've done, well, now on to the third one. <laughs> um, and still talking about COVID-19. Um, so today, um, the UK is the first country to, well, the MHRA to uh, accept the vaccine as being safe and ready to roll out. Apparently it's going to start next week. It's the Moderna one. Uh, it's going to go to care homes and residents. The... What was it I wanted to talk about to do with that? I can't remember what it was now. Oh yeah, so yeah, I was, I've been talking about it recently to do with this anti-vax movement and whatever. I mean, I don't really know. I mean, I know, I, I forgot to mention the bit I was talking yesterday about um, you know, Wakefield, Dr. Wakefield and his link between autism and and uh, the MMR jab, and I, I know they, 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 they the, the, you know, the pharmaceutical companies or whoever, the government or the hospital or whoever, sacked him and, and dismissed the report that he put in the Lancet, I believe. Um, and now we're meant to think there's no link. I don't know whether his, I mean, as we're told, we can trust these people. So what we're su suggesting that this man suddenly decided to make something up for what gain? Because you're asking us to trust these same men that make these, the, 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 I mean, oh, <laughs> well, everyone's uh, a person, but you know, you're asking us to trust individuals and you say, yeah, they're trustworthy and yeah, and it's, it's, you know, all done above board, but well, how does that equate with him then? But the thing is, also, I've seen on, on YouTube many mothers who have noted that after taking the MMR jab, their children uh, have reactions, sometimes physical reactions like spots and things, and, some, and they've linked autistic behaviour to that. Now, I guess the problem is, is you don't know, I suppose, at that young age, because when do they have their first jab? Because um, the, 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 is it one year? I think it's one year because uh, the twins had it one year, and now um, Alina, my daughter, she they think she may have autism or global development delay. Hasn't been diagnosed yet because she's only just become three, and COVID nineteen has disrupted everything. But um, my son Aiden hasn't, so you know they both had the MMR jab. Is it, it only affects certain DNA, certain people? You know, like some people can take a neurofen and be fine. Some people take neurofen and get Stephen Johnson syndrome. So I don't know whether that means anything really that one person got one didn't. Um, but the thing is, how can I tell? You know, just because I've heard the speculation of MMR, how can I actually prove that? I mean, I can't because I don't know. She might have been born with with autism. You wouldn't know at, uh, at that young age. So that's the problem. So I don't know whether these the mothers that put their things on YouTube, you know, um, ha, you know, the problem is, is that we've got a member Primados because we don't go around that same story, isn't it? We remember Primados. There were lots of people that were born with um, children that with disabilities, with facial disabilities, missing ligaments, and the parents put it down to Primados, and the GPs and doctors and the pharmaceutical companies all told them, no, 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 it's nothing to do with that. And of course, you, you'd be in the same situation because you wouldn't be able to prove it, because how do you know that your child wasn't going to be like that in the first place, that it just wasn't some unlucky event, you know? But now we find out that there is a link, so that's... I wonder whether in the future, whether MMR and autism will be the same as Primados. So, I mean, I will, I'm sure, take the COVID-19 vaccine, but I know that the reason I'm taking it is out of fear. Because, I mean, I know I've got a healthy immune system, and I didn't have that cough for like nine months. Um, but other than that, I've, you know, every flu or cold I've had, I've been able to, you know, not spend any time in hospital with it. But the thing is, you don't know if if this if this disease is going to attack you or not. 
And now we know, you know, statistically, I wouldn't have a problem because I don't have, well, I do, if I do have an underlying health condition of this asthma that's suddenly come from nowhere that I've never had all my life. But if that was the case, then that could be an underlying health condition. But that's the problem you don't really know, is it? So most people, when they take this vaccine, will take it out of trust because they trust the the pharmaceutical companies, they trust the politicians, they trust the doctors to do things for their benefit because that's what they're there for and that's a human trait isn't it but of course there will be some well pro probably quite a lot actually that will do it out of fear because of the, the how it's been you know how the politicians talk about it how the daily death rate I mean when H1N1 was around, it was in 2009, I don't remember the media or the politicians or Public Health England totting up how many people were dying every day. Maybe I didn't notice it on the news, it'd be interesting to know, but I don't think so. I think this is the first time where, you know, the daily count of how many is dying. Um, I mean, it's not so much on there now. Well, now, more than the second wave, it's come back again. So... With that information, that is, is bad. I mean, in the first lockdown, I was very fearful of going outside. I remember now, I'm not so much because, I guess you know, when once you've you've gone through something long enough, you feel that either you've already had it or you're not going to get it, or you don't need to worry about it. But the problem is, is you know, that's where people can create the idea that, or oh, maybe this doesn't exist, or maybe it doesn't exist. I mean, I don't know. The problem is, I suppose you'd only ever know that it exists if you caught it and then how would you know what you caught was just a normal flu or COVID-19 unless you had a really bad COVID-19 and then you ended up in hospital and then you'd have to admit that oh yeah there's something going wrong here I've got something and who then wouldn't go to their GP or doctor and ask them please help me that's the problem I have sometimes when I hear these truthers that seem to be too against doctors and pharmaceutical companies and medicines yeah I know there's a problem with that I know there is a lot that goes on but I don't believe that every is every medicine bad is every doctor bad is every pharmaceutical company bad every GP I mean some people maybe there they would say that well they don't know what they're doing because they're just given these things and taught this that and the other and they don't know the actual the mixture the brew <laughs> but we know that there's lots of us that when someone's sick, we go to doctors and we ask for the help and they give help and they've helped people that would have died previously of conditions that now don't die of them. Look at surgeries, heart surgeries, if you don't want to talk about medicine. But I can understand why people are concerned because you don't know, isn't it? This could be, you know, a made up thing just for money. But I don't know whether they would go around trying to kill people. Seems a bit Machiavellian. It seems a bit, you know, that's... I don't see what the benefit of that is. But then again, you've got the, 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 the quote on YouTube of Bill Gates always talking about vaccination and talking about, you know, the biggest problem for humanity is population. And I suppose this has helped a little bit. It's got rid of at least a million people. But that's nothing really, is it? If you think about it. And I'm sure if Bill Gates and his numbers, a million wouldn't be enough. And then you've got to think that, well, then there'd be some people who say, well, there's no one dying, people are dying, like with the planes and 9-11, no planes. I don't know. The problem is, is there's so much speculation. and It's very difficult when to, to know what's going on. And that's why I, I think that most people do things out of trust. Even those people who have concerns or are worried, they'll be, th you know, they'll be thinking, well, I'm fine, I've been fine through this nine months, why should I take this vaccination when there's a good chance that even if I did get it, it wouldn't do anything to me. But the problem is, because there's that chance, it's like playing Russian roulette, because there is that chance that you may, you may have something that when you get it, you end up dying and you wouldn't want to die, You'd rather just take the vaccination because you're hoping that, well, you've seen loads of people take it and they're still alive. But then, of course, will they publish if there's any problems with it? And how do we know what the long term 
effects are going to be because this has been, you know, I know they're going to say there's no corners cut, but it has been quick. And I'm sure it hasn't gone through the same kind of process, but we don't know the long time effects of this and whether we're going to have to keep having this for life now. Definitely the pharmaceutical company is going to make a lot of money out of this disease. It's a shame that they're not doing it for free, isn't it? But then I guess no one does anything for free. Anyway, I think I've waffled on long enough. But yeah, I just want to say that I will be taking the vaccine, but it will be out of fear. It won't be out of knowledge. I mean, there's no way I could get any of the knowledge to make the, the, the actual proper decision, is there? Because even if they do put information out there, how do you know it's accurate? How do you know it's true? They could wheel out doctors. They can even inject themselves, Boris Johnson or... Donald Trump or Matt Hancock can inject themselves. You don't know what they're being injected in. We've all seen movies, you know, so yeah, they can make anything. They can put, you know, the the fake needle. They can even put um, saline in it and just inject it into you. You wouldn't know what you've been in it, what's being done, even if it came in a bottle with a label on it. I mean, so that's just gimmicks. So you can only do it in two ways, either, well, three ways. Either you don't do it, you, you do it with trust, or you do it with fear. But doing it with trust, the problem with that is that, well, it's easy for you to be fooled then, isn't it? If you're just going to, you know, close your eyes and let anyone inject anything. Well, it's not anyone, I guess, but the people in the, in the costumes inject you. But that's how our system is. That's how we've been built up like that and that's why it's easy for for us to trust because we've been told to trust trust uh, the policeman in his uniform he'll help you out trust the doctor he'll make you better but we all see with primados and with lots of other different things how that sometimes goes wrong i just hope it isn't this time and well the proof is in the pudding i guess if in 60 years time we're all still alive and Humanity's still alive and nothing's changed and everything's the same, then we'll know that it was for a benefit. Take care, take it easy, God bless and peace.